Okay, so I start by drawing you two types of person, an X and O person. One person in a conflict is the fighter. The other person in a conflict is sees himself as a victim. Now, in a case study, the person who will become the survivor will be the person who reunites his victim phase with going into the fight. So he will survive this fight. Well, if the fight doesn't um, um, produce a, a feeling of empowerment, the victim moves on to victimization stage. Victimization stage. So that then becomes prolonged. And once the prolonged victimization stage becomes prolonged, it becomes part of the personality, which then forms the personal reality, which pretty much personality means, really. Personal reality. This is then where you get, you know, suicide, blah, 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 blah. This is a very simplified version of things. Now, the fighter goes into two kinds of modes. The, the difference is, is the fighter can draw on his fight, but he can also draw on his potential of learning to survive. Now, the fight will be divided into several stages. Usually, the classical theory is you go from liberation, because the world as I've seen it is usually people who do not have a lot of power fighting people who do have a lot of power. That's the general idea but will draw from his survival skills and understand that in order to create a position where he rotates his circle um, is coexistence coexistence existence coexistence so in order to get coexistence higher up or rotate that to be his primary source of inspiration and life force and all that, he will draw on his ability to actually survive whichever victimization stage he's in. Um, that then in turn creates a person then now that becomes enlightened and creates a, a new life for himself where the victim is totally abolished, no more victim, totally victim gone, victim is gone. And instead you have an empowered, empowered being that seeks, seeks, the most important word in the English language, equality. And the reason I also spoke of this, and the reason I started drawing this drawing, is that when the person understands that equality is a lot stronger position to be in, then the person stops comparing him or herself, um, saying that, he or she is different from those who they are fighting. And then they actually become stronger than the people they're fighting because they see that they're actually the same. Then victim dies, in this comes, we're the same. Now we can start talking on a plain level field.